reason being, it's got a lot of space to it. Some of these older units, you could not open them very much. You, could not, you did not have a lot of working space. A lot of early underground tools were you know, shop made there in the, uh, at the office because you had all your secondary bushings so close up next to each other that you couldn't get in there to work. You ended up having to make your own tools. This is really nice. You've got a lot of space from here to here, here to here, here to here. And it opens several different ways. Hold on a sec. Uh, on top of that, this top lid will open up also. Now let's ru run through some of the parts that we got here. This is a three-phase transformer. And that's most of your connections, your biggest pain is going to be making up these elbows and getting the cables trained to go into position. But same thing, we've got bayonet pieces up here for each face comes through. This is your line coming in, this is your line going out, this is your secondary connections. Can anybody tell me what the voltage on this transformer is? 75 kVA. It's a 75kVA, but what's the secondary connections? That's right, it's a 2A at 120. Here, unless you change the uh, voltage that it's set to. Come over here, you look at your tap positions, different positions that you have, and you compare that to your nameplate over here. Again, nature is a big concern and you are the transformer. We're going to lock it out, tag it out, and ground it. Now, how can we identify if this is a load brake transformer or not? White these white bands. Bands. These, well, they used to be white, but these white bands around the elbows identify that they are load brake. If you're looking at it on the ground before it had been installed, you can also identify it by this porcelain end on here. That means it is load brake. You can break it under load. But we need a place to put these elbows after we pull them off. So we need to install three standoff bushings. Let's see that done with gloves and a hot stick. 